Hey, Master Gardeners, I'm out in a yard today that's full of mining bees, sometimes called digger bees, all different species of bees. And they're flying all around here. And I know if you have them, you say, what a nuisance, because people who are allergic to bees don't want these in their yard. But I just wanna say, these are very valuable pollinators. So let's talk a little bit about them. So zoom in on one of the holes. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to catch one of the females coming in and out. The female digs her own little hole and inside the hole she's gonna lay her eggs and inside the egg, in, with her eggs, she's gonna put pollen and nectar to feed those little babies. The eggs are gonna hatch into little larva form and then as the larva develop, they're gonna feed on the pollen and the nectar that she's inserted inside that hole. And then she's gonna, they're gonna mature into adult form and they actually overwinter right in all these little burrows right in the ground as adults. And then they'll emerge next spring. So I don't know if you can see them hovering across the lawn over here. It's a good, here she is. She's, it's a good sunny day. Oh, she just went in a hole where she's gonna go in a hole. Thank you for, thank you for being in our video girl. So the males, when they're mating, the males may hover around the yard even more. You might even see them as they do their mating display, so they'll be up over the ground. But the females right now are busy laying eggs, getting the nectar. They last for maybe two to four weeks. So I just encourage homeowners, if you can just live with them for that amount of time. But the other challenge is, is what it does to the yard. As you can see here, there's not really any good turf growing here. The insects have selected this site because it does have good drainage, because it has poor turf. And for those reasons, they're here. Now, what you could do for a natural control would be to start running a sprinkler and keep it inordinately wet out here. And that's not gonna be a habitat that they like. Or begin a turf fertility program where you're increasing the turf itself. And that could discourage these guys from wanting to be in your yard. We don't encourage you to kill them because they're such valuable pollinators. So that's the gist, they're all different species. I don't know what species this is. This one happens to be really large and kind of fuzzy, a large fuzzy kind of brownish colored. One of them's, oh, one just came out of the hole here. A little bit larger bee, but anyway, they're solitary bees. They're not, people think, oh my gosh, I got a thousand bees down in that hole. No, you don't. It's one female laying one hole and here she is back again. There she is crawling across the soil for you. You can see a good, hopefully you're getting a good view of her. She went down in her hole. So they're coming in and out. I, I really only see about 25 of them around here, but hopefully you can see all these little, little holes all in here. Hole, 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 hole. So yeah, it is interrupting the development of their turf, no doubt. It's making the lawn look unsightly. But the truth is, on this side of the yard, the homeowner doesn't care as much what the yard looks like. Typically, I see these on the south-facing slopes, but this happens to be more of a, a northeasterly slope. And so I, I found this uncommon. But anyway, that's a little rundown. We're going to put the link on how to find a University of Maryland, Maryland bulletin on the mining bee or called digger bees. So hope you enjoyed this little clip on some of our good, positive native insects. There she is. Oh, she got in a hole before we got her. Let's see if we can rattle her and get her out. 